Woo! What is going on, guys? Fisherman Dad Jimmy here with another beautiful episode. I'm actually gonna cross the street right here. I'm at a super, super urban spot. I came over with Weston and Ryan the other day. They caught some super tanks up in here. I'll leave that video. I'll leave both. I think Ryan posted his version too. I'll leave both of their videos down below. But um, this spot has some tanks in it. It's super urban, as you can tell. Hopefully, it wouldn't get kicked out. But I got a special bait. The brand new working class Zero Battle Shad in the six inch size. So I actually have like the giant one. It's the uh, like the nine inch. I made a video with it. I think I called it, I called it Battle Shad Battles. So and then I put part one. So this is pretty much part two of Battle Shad Battles. Let's hope we catch a tank here. This is all I'm throwing, no backpack. I'm trying to stay stealthy out here and not get kicked out. There's music in the background. So hopefully YouTube doesn't mess with uh, copyright and stuff. But uh, let's get this thing in the water and see how cool it swims. And let's catch yourself a tank. So here we go. The battle shad and the six inch. I got a six hawk um, owner beast hook on there. I had a two tungsten nail weights on the fins. Kind of like the same thing I do on my citizens just because I want to keep it down there and at the bottom of the water just so I can creep it better. I feel like I get more bites like that. This thing just like kind of like just tail kicking at the top and head bouncing off the bottom. I'm gonna uh, see first cast right here, boys. I'm gonna go under the bridge, kind of. We literally got live music up there. Or like somebody on. Oh, dude, this tail kick so crazy. There's a lot of laying limbs like this, like sticks and like twigs. Comes off a little bit right here. The cool thing about like this battle shad, kind of just like the citizen, you can pretty much put it anywhere where you can't really put other types of swim baits with its uh, snag list. Not snag proof, like my my Gilbert says, snag less um, design with that hook right there, just tucked in right there, just barely enough to where when a fish bites it, it's gonna freaking just get the hook right in its mouth. But it won't get snagged like on this stuff. Like right now, I felt like I was about to get snagged, but. You just kind of just pop it off a little bit and it'll just roll over whatever it's trying to get snagged on. As long as I'm not like setting the hook, you know, you see. Might have to move here, guys. I got like music going on. No way. All right, we're gonna move down. It's not gonna be good for the audio, boys. Oh, that music's so loud. Hopefully you guys can hear me, but it got this little like island right here. And there's like a drop off. So let's hope there's a fish like right on the drop off. It sounds like a party tonight. Oh, oh we got a bite. Oh, we got one boys on the battle shot six. Stay pinned, stay pinned. He's a good fish. He's running, he's running. He's running. Oh my God, he came off. That was a good fish, boys. That was a good fish, boys. Whoo! <laughs> Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. I saw, dude. Oh man, my heart's beating. I think finally stopped for a little bit. I could talk to you guys. A quick recap. Lost that fish. I think my my hook set was horrible. I don't know if I'll be able to catch another one in the same spot. I just saw a huge swirl over there. Huge swirl. Oh, I thought this was something. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. This is what you find in Dallas, Texas when you fish in the urban spots. This thing is already chewed up. Look at that. Huge teeth marks on that thing. I don't know how good you can see it on the camera. Another thing is like right here, when you set the hook on these big baits, you have to reel into them and set the hook. All this stuff, you may think it not might mess with you, but it does. Like you're over here trying to avoid this and trying to get a good hook set. That was a bite. Something bit at it. F 
fish. Oh my gosh. Came off. I set the hook too early, dude. I didn't reel into it. Oh my god. I didn't reel into it, dude. Oh, that was my fault. I didn't reel into it. I got too excited. Oh, dude, that was my mistake right there. That was that same fish I just bit it to, I think. Oh my god. I'm gonna work my way over there. You ready to do this? Somebody make some noise! I, I need I don't need noise right now. I'm trying to film a video, guys. I got a fish as soon as it landed in the water. Stay pinned, stay pinned, stay pinned. It's a good fish. Oh my gosh. Stay pinned. Oh my gosh. Came off. Oh my God, dude, what the heck, bro? That's three fish. That's fish. Three fish I lose on this battle shot today. Let's hit the water and he freaking smoked it. I didn't get any good hooks in on that. This music's even getting me more frustrated, dude. Oh my god, dude. Emotions are high right now. That's three good fish, dude. Oh, I just got pretty good. There we go. All right, this one's not coming off. This was not coming off, boys. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Fish plus tree? Fish plus tree? Dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Freaking fish bit in and wrapped me on a tree. Oh my god, that's four. That's four. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm having a day today. That was insane, dude. Insane. Part three, coming up, Battle Shad Battles, let's go.